Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be taking you through the difference between CSS Grid Layout and CSS Flexbox. In this video, you guys will understand which one you should use according to your needs while creating a web page. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started with the difference between CSS Grids and CSS Flexbox. We have already covered these two topics in the previous two videos. We already have CSS Flexbox and CSS Grids in our playlist. So you guys can watch those videos and it will be easy for you to understand the actual difference between Grids and Flexbox. So when you should use CSS Grid and when you should use CSS Flexbox. So the basic difference between CSS Grid Layout and CSS Flexbox Layout is that Flexbox was originally designed for layout in one dimension and CSS Grids were designed for two dimensions. So what does this two dimensions and one dimension means? So let me just show you with an example. So here you can see we have an image where we have CSS Flexbox on the left hand side and CSS Grid Layout on the right hand side. So in CSS Flexbox you can see we have three different items. So these three are known as flex items. So we have these three items which are aligned vertically next to each other. So we have only three items. And in CSS grids, we have different items. We have CSS grid items. So these are known as grid items. So you can see we have aligned them in a different way. We have aligned them in rows and in columns. So this is what two dimensions and one dimension mean. One dimension means you can align all the items either row wise or column wise. But when it comes to two dimension, you can align them either on ro either row wise or column wise in a single container. So this is what makes CSS grids more useful than CSS Flexbox. I'm not saying you can't use CSS Flexbox. It depends on your needs totally, which one you should use. So CSS Flexbox, we, you are going to use for one dimensions if you are going to lay out your HTML elements in a single dimension, like if you are going to lay them out in either horizontally or vertically. But CSS grids, you can do both simultaneously. So that's the basic difference between them. So let me just close this. Now, we'll go through an example between the layouts. So we'll go through one dimensional versus two dimensional layout. What we'll do is we'll create similar layout with both Flexbox and Grid Layout and we'll understand the difference between them. So let's get started with the programming part and I hope you guys will understand it much better. So what we are going to do is we are going to add some HTML element first. That's the basic and we are going to use the div tag. So we already know we have a flex container for flexbox and we have a grid container for grid layout. Fine, so here we are going to create the flexbox first. So here you can see we have a div with classes, let's say flex. We should not use classes flex because flex is already a property or a value. So you guys can get confused. So we'll use flexing instead of flex, fine. Now what we are going to do is we are going to write here div. So let's not use anything. We are going to use div 1. And we are going to create some more. Fine. So here you can see. Let me just remove this one. We need only 5 so that you guys can understand the difference pretty clearly. And I'll write here 2. I'll change the names. 3. Then we have 4. Then we have five. Now save this and here you can see we have five items present on our web page. That's the simplest of tasks to do, right? So here we have a division, which is a container. So this is going to be the container. This whole div will be the flex container and these all are flex items. You guys will understand it in a while. So now we are going to use the CSS for that. First, just let's just create some boxes for this. What we can say flex items. So we are going to use div. So we are going to use style every div element, fine. So we are going to write here border. Border is going to be one pixel solid and which color we can use? Red, fine. So here you can see the border for each div. Margin we are going to use again and again. Not again, but for each div tag. 
so we'll write here margin is two pixels so here you can see right this is this hole is known as the flex container so this whole a box around all the five boxes is known as flex container and each box is known as flex items so just use the background color but it will be a little so save it now so here you can see we have five flex items and one flex container fine so let me just do one thing let me give a class to each div so we'll write here class as uh, what we can use color fine so let me just copy this class form here and we are going to use it here fine why we are using doing this I'll let you know in a while just let me do it first so save and here what we are going to do is instead of this we are going to write here color fine so here you can see the flex container is gone now why we did so because I want to show you the difference between flex container and flex items so for now what we are going to do is we are going to style the flex container so for that we have the classes flexing and what we are going to do here is we are going to write here border border is going to be one pixel solid and black in color using this you guys will understand it much better I am going to write here four pixels and here you can see this is the flex container this whole box outside right the box with black border and these all are flex items so I hope you guys understood it now it's time to use flex box what we are going to do is we are going to write here width width is going to be 500 pixels display we are going to use so the display property we have we have we use it for flex box we use we use it for grid, grid layout and a lot of things right so we are going to write here flex display is going to be flex and then we'll just write here flex wrap so if you don't know about this flex wrap just go through the flex box video once and you guys will understand this property clearly save it so here you can see the outcome so if I increase the size of my browser here you can see let's just see so we have the width of 500 pixels so we have this container of 500 pixels and we have each items present right the display is going to be flex all the items will be aligned here one two three four five and then we have flex wrap as wrap so all of them will be wrapped we can write here instead of wrap we can write here wrap reverse fine so here you can see and yeah all the items are wrapped here so this is how we can use the flex box property now what we are going to do is we are going to use the color so remember one thing this color class is for every div right so what we are going to do is we are going to make some changes over here in every division so I'll just write here flex now I'm going to give the flex as 1 1 and let's say 150 pixels save it and here you can see the difference now now the whole area within the flex box is taken by a uh, five elements so we have used the class wrap reverse we have aligned them column row wise so one two three are at the bottom and four and five are at the top so here you can see we have five different items let me just use wrap only here and save it so now it's fine so we have one two three four and five so we have five different items taken all the area within the flex box but the size is different right the first three items took a fraction they all are equal but the fourth and fifth item the flex item fourth and fifth they are of different size than the other three so this is what flex box can't do this is what grid layout can do so you guys will understand the difference much clearly if we'll use grid layout for the same so if I just remove this flex property from here or just comment it out so let me just comment this flex property and instead of we are I'm also going to comment this as well so yeah we are done so we have five containers here the display we are going to change the display we are going to give as grid I'm going to remove this width as well because the grid layout property doesn't need the width so just do one thing okay so we have to use here this and comment it out 
now we are going to use the grid layout property so the first thing we are going to change is display display property will use again and again if it's flexbox or if it's grid layout the display property will remain the same the values will change if it's flexbox then we'll use flex and if we are using grid layout then we'll use grid fine just grid save it and here you can see a little difference you can notice right all the items are aligned equally now you must have seen the difference in the alignment of all the five grid items now they all are will be called as grid items so we'll write over here grid template columns we are going to use columns over here then we are going to write here repeat and we are going to write here three one fraction save it and here you can see i'll tell you what this three and one fraction is in a while but here you can see we have five items all of them are present within the grid layout so this is the grid layout or we can say grid container so we have five items but the width and the size for all the items is equal you can see one two three four and five all of them are equal in size although we have space left over here so grid layer with grid layout it's easy to create two dimensional it's easy to lay off things in two dimensions so here you can see all the five are equal and we have some space left for the sixth one if i so what we did here is we use the column template grid template column and then we use the repeat property we wrote here three and three boxes will be aligned in a single row so three boxes will be there or we can say three columns will be there what is this one fr one fr means one fraction of the whole grid container so if i am writing here one fraction of the whole container then you can see we have one fraction here two fractions and three fractions right so what will happen if i'll write here two fractions save it nothing will happen because we have used so what we'll do is we'll write here two and two fr so here you can see now we are using two columns and two fractions right so here you can see the size will change the size of each grid item will change fine so this is what the fraction means fraction property so now there's a simple question to ask yourself while deciding between grid layout and flexbox which one you should use so the basic and the most simple answer to this question is you need to if you are using if you need to control the layout of your web page by rows and columns simple use flexbox and if you need to control the layout by row and column then you should use grid so let me just tell you in simple words now if you are if you want your uh, want to what we can say lay off your html elements over the web page in one dimension one dimension means if you are going to lay them off in either row wise or column wise use flexbox but if you are going to lay them lay your html elements on the web page in two different dimension you want rows and columns in a same container then what should you use you use grid layout so this is the most basic and most important difference between css grid layout and css flexbox now so this difference is what we were supposed to discuss in this particular video now i hope you guys must have understood which one you should use according to your need just remember one thing use flexbox if you want to align your items or if you want to lay off your items column wise either column wise or row wise but if you want to use both of them column and rows in a single container or within a single web page use css grids so that's all what we had to discuss in this particular video and if you guys are still feel that we missed out on some important things and some important properties of grids and flexbox do let us know in the comments below and i want you guys to give it a try and let us know what you get from this particular video so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one and if you like this video then do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below and we'll definitely answer your comment so that's all from us thank you and have a very nice day